Europe's Strongest Man has become one of the biggest, most prestigious titles in Strongman. Usually held in Leeds in England, the show hosted by Giants Live attracts thousands of Strongman fans every year. Europe has churned out some incredible strength athletes over the years, including 15 of the World's Strongest Man champions. 2020 is technically and officially the 40th anniversary of Europe's Strongest Man, but the competition has a slightly more complex timeline than most. In past years, Europe's wasn't always held as a standalone competition named Europe's Strongest Man. Instead, other competitions such as European Muscle Power, the Helsinki Grand Prix and the Atlantic Giants, to name a few, were used to determine who was the strongest man in Europe. It wasn't until much more recently that the competition had been consistently held every year and called Europe's Strongest Man. But regardless of any technicalities, we're going to look back at every athlete that has been credited with the title Europe's Strongest Man. First up is British strongman legend Jeff Capes, who was named as Europe's Strongest Man in 1980, 1982 and 1984. Jeff was a successful shot putter who won gold medals at the Commonwealth Games and European Indoor Championships. On the World's Strongest Man stage, the fans loved watching Jeff's epic rivalries, first with Bill Kazmaier and then later with John Paul Sigmason. In addition to his three Europe's Strongest Man titles, Jeff won two World's Strongest Man contests and countless other titles before his retirement from the sport in 1988. The next man on the list who was credited with the title in 1981 is Lars Hedlund from Sweden. Lars is in my opinion one of the strongest men never to win the World's Strongest Man, having competed at Worlds three times and taking three podium finishes. Lars was an EPF European powerlifting champion and had a raw bench press of 285 kilograms. Next up is Dutch strongman Simon Wolfsey, who won the title back in 1983, beating big names in the sport such as John Paul Sigmundson and Jeff Capes. 1983 was a good year for Simon, when in addition to his European title win, he came third at the world's strongest man. It'll come as no surprise that strongman superstar Jean-Paul Sigmundson held the title of Europe's Strongest Man, which he won in 1985 and 1986. Jean-Paul was the first man to win the World's Strongest Man title four times. He enjoyed other great successes in the sport, such as five World Muscle Power Championship wins and was five times Iceland's Strongest Man. Regardless of his brilliant strongman career, Jean-Paul was probably best known for his larger-than-life personality and charisma. His legacy lives on, and he's still a firm fan favourite well into the 21st century. Ab Volders was the second Dutchman to win Europe's Strongest Man, which he did in 1987. Ab enjoyed a successful career in the 80s, taking second place at the World's Strongest Man on two occasions and becoming the IPF World Powerlifting Champion in 1984. British strongman Jamie Reeves was the next man to take the Europe's Strongest Man title, which he held in 1988 and 1989. Jamie was the nine times England's Strongest Man and won the World's Strongest Man in 1989. Jamie was well known for his shoulder strength and held the world log lift record for an impressive 13 years, an accomplishment surpassed only by Zadrona Saviskas. Next up is six times Denmark's strongest man, Henning Thorson, who won the European title in 1990. Another career highlight for Henning was when he took second place at the world's strongest man in 1991, losing out only to Magnus Verm Magnusson, who would go on to be one of the greatest of all time. 1991's Europe's Strongest Man was recorded as a tie between Scotsman Forbes Cowan and Welshman Gary Taylor. Forbes was a six times winner of Scotland's Strongest Man, while Gary was nine times Wales' Strongest Man. It's not the first time the pair have tied for points. In the 1994 World's Strongest Man, Gary and Forbes were both in heat one and they both scored 11 points along with Samoan Joe Onasai. 
Gary lost out on countback and failed to qualify from the group, meaning he was unable to defend his World's Strongest Man title that he'd won the previous year. 1992 was another strange year as I found three athletes that were hailed as Europe's Strongest Man in separate competitions. Four times World's Strongest Man winner, Magnus Ver Magnussen won one of them. Another was 10 times hungry Strongest Man, Laszlo Fekete, and finally, 1992's World's Strongest Man, Ted Van Der Paar. You have to keep in mind that Strongman is a sport without a governing body, and it has a history of the different federations not always working together or communicating well. But there is no denying that Magnus, Laszlo and Ted were all incredible athletes that were worthy of the title. Manfred Herbel was the next man to hold the title both in 1993 and 1994. Again, in 1994, we saw two competitions held, the second of which was won by Magnus Ver Magnussen. Manfred had an incredible career in strongman, winning Austria's Strongest Man seven times and the World Muscle Power Championships twice. Manfred is another of my favorites, never to win the World's Strongest Man, a title he missed out on by just a second in 1994 when he lost the Atlas Stones to Magnus Ver. Manfred was involved in a serious car accident in 1994, which ultimately ended the strongman's career. Riku Kiri is another athlete often regarded as the strongest man never to win the Worlds, but he did win Europe's Strongest Man three times in 95, 96 and 1997. The Finnish star won a number of other European and world titles in the sport and was on the podium at Worlds three times, but was plagued with ankle injuries throughout his career. The next man to take the title of Europe's Strongest Man was also from Finland. Joko Ahala won the European title in 1998 and 1999. The 1998 competition was the IFSA Helsinki Grand Prix, where Yuko put on a particularly impressive performance, placing top three in all eight events against world-class athletes, such as Magnus Ver Magnussen, Magnus Samuelsson, Riku Kiri, and Sven Carlsen. Yoko managed to win the World's Strongest Man the first time he competed there in 1997, and is also the lightest man to have ever won the title. The Europe's Strongest Man competition held in 2000 was won by Berent Venenberg from the Netherlands. The former IPF powerlifter was also seven times Strongest Man of the Netherlands and competed at World's Strongest Man a total of six times, with his highest placing being in 1993, where he came fifth. Next in line was Sven Carlsen, who won Europe's Strongest Man in 2001. Sven, who also won the World's Strongest Man that same year, was a Norwegian powerhouse known for his catchphrase, Viking power! Sven enjoyed a long and varied career in strength sports, starting out first in powerlifting, before moving over to bodybuilding, and eventually strongman. The dominator, Marius Pujanovski, was the next man to win Europe's Strongest Man, and in true Marius style, he dominated the competition. Marius won the title a total of six times between 2002 and 2009, and one of his real standout performances came in 2004 competition, where he beat second place by an incredible 16 and a half points. Marius was a formidable athlete, and he wanted to win every single event in every single competition, which explains his five World Strongest Man titles, along with countless other national, European and world titles. Fellow pole Jarek Dimmick won Europe's Strongest Man in 2005. Jarek regularly teamed up with Marius for the World's Strongest Team, a competition the pair won three times. Jarek competed at the World's Strongest Man a total of eight times, with his highest placing being fourth in 2005. Zadrina Saviskus was the next man to win Europe's Strongest Man, which he did first in 2010. Zadrunas eventually went on to win Europe's a total of three times in what was easily the competition's most competitive era up to that point. His performance in 2013 was particularly impressive. In the first event, the Max Loglift, he broke his own world record when he lifted an incredible 221kg loglift. 
He continued with the competition, placing top two in four of the remaining five events and finished up with a seven point lead over second place. It really is a testament to what an incredible all-round athlete Zadrunas is that he could perform a world record breaking lift before going on to dominate the overall competition. The next man to win the title was Hafthor Bjornsson, who picked up his first major international win in 2014. From there, Thor would go from strength to strength, winning an incredible five Europe's Strongest Man titles in total and getting on the podium at World's Strongest Man eight times, including his 2018 World's Strongest Man title win. Thor's most dominant performance at Europe's came in 2018, where he beat second place by eight points after placing top two in every event except the Farmer's Walk. Thor has announced his retirement from the sport since his latest Europe's win in 2019, which brings to an end his almost completely dominant era at the Europe's Strongest Man competition. The only man to break Thor's reign at the top was British strongman legend Lawrence Shahlay, who won the competition in 2016. The two-time Britain's Strongest Man had been plagued with injuries in the years leading up to his 2016 win and he announced his retirement from the sport after a particularly devastating injury at the 2015 World's Strongest Man contest. Lawrence decided to give it another go and after testing the waters and placing third at Britain's Strongest Man that year, he surprised nearly everyone when he beat the heavy favourite Thor at Europe's Strongest Man. Lawrence put on a tremendous performance, breaking two world records in the frame carry and the car walk and performing extremely well in the rest of the events. With the recent champions of the competition retired from the sport, the door is wide open for a new Europe's Strongest Man. Who do you think will take the crown? While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.